Police are standing by their fleeing driver policy following a triple fatal crash in Christchurch. Brothers Glenn and Craig McAllister, aged 16 and 13, were killed along with 13-year-old Brooklyn Taylor on Sunday. The trio had fled from police when the stolen Mazda familiar they were in hit spikes laid by police, crashed into a tree and burst into flames on Blenheim Road police are yet to officially name the victims. The vehicle was traveling in excess of 130 km per hour in the Christchurch CBD when police began the pursuit, which lasted only one minute. Police say they quickly abandoned the pursuit due to the dangerous way the vehicle was being driven. The incident is the third fatal crash involving fleeing drivers in Christchurch in less than two months. Pregnant mother Renee Percy was killed alongside driver Dennis Tunnicliffe, 25, on December 5 when he tried to flee from police before crashing into a power pole in Aranui. And on November 16, 18-year-old Alexia Chrysi Marino Bell Hazelwood died when the car she was a passenger in went through a fence and hit a tree after the driver fled from police. Ems Percy's sister Carly Kirkcowie told she thinks police need to rethink how they pursued fleeing vehicles. These fatal accidents are becoming all too common and as a family member of someone who passed away in a similar situation, I wouldn't wish it upon anyone, let alone someone's family. However National Road Policing Manager Superintendent Steve Greeley says their fleeing driver policy is fit for purpose. We never want to see anybody injured or killed on the road. The deaths were devastating and I feel for their families and friends of the people who lost their lives.